morning YouTube. Today is Sunday, July 31st, which happens to be my birthday. Today I turn 24 years old, which is kind of a shitty year, honestly. You might also notice that I might sound different, and that's because this is the first video being shot with the new helmet. I got the AGV EXS8 something naked. It was something naked. Uh, that's all I remember. But uh, yeah, I got that for my birthday. I paid a little bit of it. My lovely girlfriend, Ms. Bikenbird, paid for the rest because she's awesome and is the most beautiful girl in the world and has a nice butt. Yeah, man, it is. So far, it's pretty nice. I'll do a little review as I go on this ride today. I'll publish it either later or maybe earlier than this video. I don't know. But it'll be specifically dedicated to the helmet itself. Where we are going today. So I'm trying a new mic setup, the one that I had on my other helmet. First off, it sounded great, but it was super inconvenient. It was super close to my mouth. Uh, you could hear me breathing a lot, which I don't think you're really gonna fix with any setup, but I'm trying to minimize that. I also put a little bit added wind protection, just because of the shape of this helmet, I feel like there might be a lot more circulation up in the front than my old one. Cut up a dead cat and kind of just made my own little setup. I also placed the stereo mic facing up and down as opposed to left and right like you're supposed to. Primary reason for that is I wanted to capture primarily voice on one channel and primarily motor on the other channel. Uh, because the way I edit, I usually mono a channel and then when I want uh, more motor, motor notes, I can go to the other channel. Other than that, I really have no complaints about this helmet. It is extremely comfortable, extremely light. I think once it breaks in, I'm gonna fall even more in love with it. We are headed up into the mountains to go to Mama Bird and Papa Bird's house to uh, meet up and possibly go for another ride. This biking bird is caging it up behind me. She wasn't feeling too well. Her back's been giving her a lot of issues lately. She decided to kind of sit this one out. Plus she wanted to take the puppies up here with us. So she's back there in the car with the two dogs. We're on County Road 37 headed up towards Medina Lake. I absolutely love this road. I wouldn't call it twisties. I mean, it's definitely more uh, twisty than pretty much any road you've ever seen me go on, but just a nice casual 50 mile an hour road through the hill country. Oh yeah. Also, this is a rare sight to see me with a jacket on. <laughs> But I have to say, it's like 98 degrees out here right now, and I'm gonna I'm gonna admit something right now. I am probably more comfortable and cooler than I've than I usually am without sleeves or if I'm wearing my dry fit. This Harley jacket right here, it is phenomenal. I have this is my actual first time riding with it in the summer. I remember in the winter it kind of sucked because it let so much air in. And I was thinking today, I was like, hmm, my dry fit sucked last time I wore it. Nor my jacket, because I'm gonna be on a little bit more aggressive road, so I mean I kind of have a higher chance of you know sliding out or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and wear the jacket and actually wear all my proper gear this time. And uh, honestly, I'm loving it. I've got the front zipped down about halfway, and it's letting all the air in straight through my back and kind of ricocheting down into my arms. So like I'm getting ventilation everywhere and it feels awesome man i need to do this road more often it is so much fun once again like i was talking about in last episode our last moto vlog episode i am literally 15 maybe 20 minutes from my house in the middle of san antonio and <laughs> look at it it's ridiculous I mean, look at the views. And what's crazy is I can ride these roads nine to 10 months, maybe 11 out of the year, just because it gets cold. But I mean, if you've got any type of winter gear, throw that on there and you are good to go. We have a few, I'd say maybe, maybe three months out of the year where it can rain pretty often, but definitely not for like weeks at a time. So you can pretty much come out here whenever you want to. Also, besides today being my birthday, I set out to do, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say set out to achieve a goal today, but I challenged all my friends on Facebook, don't put. It was at this moment that Bike and Bird realized he fucked up. Oh no. How am 
I just now realizing this? Oh man. Fuck. Oh, looks like I might be getting an aftermarket gas capper girl than expected. Damn it! I was wondering, I was like, he's smelling gas. Like, where is that coming from? I was so busy talking to Ms. Bikenbird and making sure she didn't get gas, I forgot to put my goddamn gas cap on. That is some next level dumbass shit right there. Well. Hopefully Papa Bird has some duct tape. <laughs> oh man, you just gotta look at stuff like that and just laugh because you've got no one to blame but your dumb ass. Oh man. Well. Anyway, oh god damn it. Now I'm gonna... Shit. It's on my fucking helmet now. God damn it. <sighs> oh, fuck. Anyways, back to what I was talking about. I challenged my Facebook friends. I said, look, half you people I don't ever talk to. So the whole like, happy birthday, bro. Hey, dude, happy birthday. Hope you have a good one. It just kind of just like, do you really give two shits if I have a happy birthday or not? Like, do you really care? No. So, instead, I challenge people to go subscribe to the channel or share it so their friends could subscribe to the channel. Because I needed about 8 more subscribers before I hit 100. And right now, currently, ladies and gentlemen, I am sitting at 101. That's right. We're over 100 now. Which means I can officially change the channel URL to hopefully Bike in Bird. That would be great if that's not taken. Well, I know I said it last time, ladies and gentlemen, but thank you so much to all 101 of you. Probably by the time you're watching this, hopefully I'll have a lot more than 101. Nonetheless, it is a celebration to be had. So thank you all once again for all the love and support that you've given me so far. If you would like some updates before these videos come out, since there is about four to six weeks, depending on the episode between when it's shot and when it goes live go ahead and follow me on instagram here's my username right here i post on there probably at least once a day i uh, usually give like behind the scenes updates or little sneak peeks or previews i do at least a 45 second teaser before every episode before every bonus video so if you want to get in on that go ahead and give me a follow there I can see it from here. Hello. I left this here about three hours ago. I just need to grab this real quick. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Yeah. Now we're good. There's my dumb move for the year. <laughs> oh, legs cramping up. Sorry, sorry. Going down the wrong way. Just trying to get home. Just a good old boy. Something, something, something. <laughs> I need to go through more parking lots. Huh, that would be more entertaining. Papa Murphy's, if that's not the biggest scam. Yeah, we're a pizza place. You just gotta go home and cook it. It's 
so you're a grocery store. Yay, I got my gas cap back. That was really dumb of me. That's that's the dumbest thing I've done in a long time. I can't think of another time, any time recently that I've been that dumb. That's, that's dumb. Oh well. Hi baby. So the back seats for losers. Ah, 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 ah. Get down, good girl. Here's a good puppy. If you're not one of the 101 subscribers, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that little thumbs up while you're at it. As always guys, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.